How's it going guys? So a huge three-way trade just happened in the NHL. Matthew Shane is finally moving on from the Colorado Avalanche. So basically, it's a three-way trade between Colorado, Ottawa, and Nashville. Um, as you guys can see on screen there, the Senators get Matthew Shane, the Predators get Kyle Turris, and then Colorado gets a huge haul for Duchesne, getting Samuel Girard, Kamenev, Hammond, Bowers, Ottawa's first and third, and Nashville's second round pick. So we're going to do this trade in NHL 18 to simulate it and see what would happen. Obviously for this, we wanna use the trade difficulty on hard, uh, just to make it the most realistic. Also because of the three-way trade, we're basically gonna do it where Colorado is kinda of like the middleman, as that's actually what happened. So to make this three-way trade a little simpler, guys, as well, to make it so we can actually try it in NHL 18, we're gonna have two separate trades, one where Ottawa trades, Turris, Hammond, Bowers, a first and a third of Colorado for Duchesne, and then Colorado will then flip Turris for Gerard Kamenev in the second. So obviously it was like an all one transaction deal, but basically how it worked out was kind of Turris went through Colorado to Nashville as uh, Darren Drake reported. So we will see what happens here. Honestly, I think Colorado made out the best of these three teams. Like they got such a big haul there for Duchesne. I think the Senators probably made out the worst. Like they gave up um, first, a third, and Bowers who they just drafted in the first round of 2017. Um, for that upgrade to Duchesne. They also traded Hammond, who's like a non-factor in my opinion. And then Nashville, I think, got a pretty solid deal. Uh, giving up Gerard, Kamenev, and a second for Turris. They definitely gave up a lot less in Ottawa to get their top six center. And then Colorado, of course, just getting all the picks and prospects. So let's find out whether or not this trade would go through in NHL 18. So right here, guys, look at the trade value for Matt Duchesne. Um, as you can see, it's the fifth highest on Colorado. He's actually got less than Landis Cog. I think in real life, though, it's probably more. Uh, it's probably because they gave him high top six opposed to medium elite. Um, 85 overall there, 26 years old, making $6 million for the next two years. He's actually tied for the highest rated player on Colorado with McKinnon and Landeskog. Um, some other stuff here, first line forward, playmaking center, third overall pick, 2009. Um, so as you can see, like a decent amount of value. And I actually thought Turris would have almost the exact same, but um, as it turns out, Turris is actually like, I don't know, about half, but maybe two-thirds of the value. So you can see there, about two-thirds. Uh, is what Turris equals, so probably a first round pick alone would be enough to get this trade to go through, but Ottawa's giving up a first, a third, um, Hammond, who like I said, I think it's just like an extra piece, probably just for like the roster spot, then they also gave up Bowers, now Bowers is a college player, so he's not in this game, uh, he was a 28th pick in 2017, so like the next closest thing would be Formington here, um, he was the 47th pick in 2017, so he was picked 20 picks later, I don't know, high top nine. Bowers is probably slightly better, but he's not in the game. So it's really all we can do. I don't know where his value would be. Like Shabbat's right there. Obviously, he's not going to be valued as high as Shabbat. So we'll just do Formington there. Um, so right there is the offer. Or right there is what we're asking for Ottawa for Matthew Shane. The value is at least double, maybe more on Ottawa's side. So I highly doubt Ottawa says yes to this and trade rejected. So let's try it from the other side now. And see what Colorado says. Now guys, we're going to try the trade from Ottawa's perspective, so offering Colorado Turris, Formantin, of course, in place for Bowers, Hammond, a first and a third for Matthew Shane. I uh, forgot to show you Turris' stats and stuff too. He's 28 years old, so a couple years older than Duchesne, 84 overall, so one overall below. He's also, though, considered a first-line center, was also a third overall pick just two years earlier, so that's kind of cool. Uh, making three and a half million, so a lot less, but one year left. Um, actually, when they traded him, it was a sign-in trade. I think it was six by six. So he's going to be getting paid $6 million for the next six years, which is a pretty solid deal, I think, uh, for tourists. But obviously, here you can see, again, the value is at least double on our side. I feel like there's no way Colorado declines this, but you never know. Here we go. Yeah, trade accepted. Like I said, I think Ottawa definitely made out the worst. And another thing to note, guys, Ottawa's first pick in the 2018 draft isn't until the fourth round now. So they better hope they make the playoffs. Otherwise... That's not good. And so now that Colorado has Turris, like I was saying, they're going to flip him to Nashville. And as you can see, Nashville's actually interested in Turris, just how Ottawa's interested in Duchesne, so that's pretty cool. Um, so we're going to see here what um, Nashville will say. Uh, we want Kamenev, who actually doesn't have that much value, 2172. Uh, second round pick, 2014, medium top nine. I feel like he should be higher than that. Same with Gerard, like 19, 75 overall. That's pretty high rated for a 19 year old. And then medium top six, like he should have more value than that. And then the second round pick in 2018 has a decent amount of value. So we're asking for those three pieces for Turris. The value is actually pretty equal. So unlike the Duchesne trade with Ottawa, where I think Ottawa's giving up like double the value of Duchesne, this is pretty much spot on. They want Turris. They're willing to trade the second. I think this might actually go through. 
and the trade is accepted, so that's pretty good. Uh, like I thought, Ottawa made out the worst for sure, Cardo made out the best, and I think Nashville got a solid deal as well, and that's kind of shown here in the game. And now we're trying the Tourist trade from Nashville's perspective, uh, Gerard, Kamnev, and the second there in 2018. For Kyle Turris, who as you can see is on the Colorado Avalanche, so that'll obviously maybe play a factor in whether or not they say yes compared to Ottawa. Um, he's on the trade block, the value though is pretty equal, they don't want any of these three pieces though, so we'll see, like, you know, neither team really that interested in the trade, but it is a fair trade, so we'll see what they say. Trade rejected, so I think that just goes to show that Nashville did get a pretty solid deal for Turris. Colorado though, obviously getting all those pieces, I already said this, I think they made out like so good. Everyone was giving Sackick such a hard time, but in the end he waited, and he uh, got the return he wanted for Duchesne, so I mean, I respect that. Also guys, I want to give you a first look at both Matt Duchesne and Kyle Turris playing for their new teams. So, right here is Matt Duchesne on the Ottawa Senators. I've got him wearing number 92, as that's actually a number he wore playing for Canada before, and obviously Bobby Ryan already wears number 9 for the Senators, so I think Duchesne looks pretty good there in 92 for Ottawa. And next up guys, we have Turris on the Predators. As you can see, he's also had a number change, going from 7 to 77. Yannick Weber already has 7 on the Predators, but I think Turris looks pretty good there in the Predators jersey, uh, and I think number 77 definitely uh, works for him as well. I mean, Duchesne basically just added like a number 2 to his number, Turris here just adding a second 7. Apparently he wore 77 over in Europe one time, so I think that he'll probably go with this, and like I said, I think it looks good there with the Predators jersey. So right there guys, look at the two new players on their new teams, you also, you know, seeing what would happen with those trades. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are on this big three-way trade, I think it's crazy just seeing Twitter going off. I would love to hear your guys' opinions in the comments section. Also, guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave that thumbs up. See you tomorrow, HL18, guys. Have a nice day. Goodbye.